Hi everybody. Thought I'd bring you up to speed on our world map we got here. Uh, I asked in the last video that uh, just out of the blue it just hit me when I was making a video. I didn't even pre-plan it, which is really cool. I want to know where people are from. It's like, you know, I get all these people coming in and it's like, you know, I really enjoy the company. I love your stories. If you got stories you want to tell, you put them right in them comments. Uh, I'm going to archive a bunch of them. And don't put nothing in there you don't want other people to know unless you tell me, hey, they keep this between us, then I'll do that. That's no problem at all. But they, they get to read them too, buddy. You know what I mean? So let's just go with this. Okay, our world map. I, I learned something. If you see here in the U.S. and Canada, I'm going to have to get a U.S. map because we just started this, and that's pretty full there. But this is really, really pretty cool. Uh, if I've missed your name, misspelt your name, or, or whatever, correct me. If I got you in the wrong dang old country, correct me. I'll fix it. Uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. I can see that. Now, I'm going to tell you how dedicated I am to this. Uh, I've got to sheetrock this room or do something with it. Uh, this has just been a storage room till last year. And uh, that's what it was. I was actually going to put my air compressor and some shelves in here. But it's time to finish this off to, as soon as I catch a break. And uh, what's, I, I like building sauce for you guys. I like doing the videos. And we're going to keep right on doing all of it. Okay, so I'm going to pick you up a minute here. And I'm going to do my best to not screw this up. Okay? I want you guys to be able to see your names. And then we got to go clear down here. This is going to be a reach. Yeah, it didn't take long to run out of room. Uh, I just got a saw from Yank Doodle down in Kentucky. I want to show you something. I, most saws will blow up. Hey, Kenzie, how you doing, buddy? Saws will blow up sometimes, and you fix them, and you know you do that. But I'm going to flip you upside down so don't get too sick. Look at this. Isn't that some? I don't mind. No big deal at all. Uh, he had a saw break, and I think somebody's trying to fix it and wasn't able to or whatever, and that's fine. Uh, there's enough stuff here with what I got her laying around. Uh, we're going to build a mana saw. Okay. There, I think I got you fixed back up. Okay, so he, he told me right out. He said, look, I'm a logger. I want a good, strong log. And so I said, I want it strong. But he said, I don't want to take away the reliability that the saws have. And I said, no, no, we won't do that. Well, we actually might make it run longer. Now, we're going to go in this with a, a pretty good dome piston. I'm using a forged piston in this when I do it. I'll show it to you when we get to that point. Uh... You, you don't worry about nothing. I got you on this one here, okay, uh, uh, Yank Doodle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building this because I got stuff sitting right here. I might just as well. I'm in no hurry, okay, uh, for you to, to worry about money at this point. You get, it's been real rainy here in the East Coast. A lot of loggers are just plain and simple. ain't been able to move, and he's one of them too. And... Uh, you're getting still where you can skid a little bit now. Don't worry about it. Get your ducks in a row. You make sure things are handled, and uh, and you'll have your saw anyway. What do you think of that? And uh, I like loggers. I like everybody. Uh, I like building saws for professional tree guys. They're very, they know what they want. They really do. Uh, I like building saws for anybody. Don't get me wrong. I really do. Uh, don't even think of, uh, that I don't. Uh, I don't cater to just one type of person or another or whatever, but uh, that's the way it is. But, uh, yeah, I, something pretty bad happened to that saw, and it, it broke. 
it broke the case and uh you got a beautiful crankshaft there and that set of cases you picked up are gorgeous so it's going to be a good build i'm really really pretty happy about that i got a saw that i'm going to show you real fast let me get it see this old thing right here let me show you you wouldn't believe how young I was when I bought this. Now, this poor thing, it's been around, believe me. I, I tell you, I, I run that crap out of this. Uh, I rebuilt this. Uh, I put bearings in it. I put everything new while I could still get the OEM parts that I wanted for the flat top 66. And I'd actually bought the parts probably 10 years ago. And uh, I, I went full bag on this. I didn't bother with plastic and everything because at the time the saw still looked pretty good. Well, finally a bearing went out of the bottom end a few years ago. This is a brand new saw inside. I mean brand new. And it's time to dial it up a little bit. I got a motor mount that's bad and one thing or another. These old 66s cut a lot of timber, buddy. I've had this saw, I believe, 33 years. Uh, and that's something else. And, uh... I think I've caught right around 16 million uh, uh, feet on Doyle scale with this, which that's a lot of loads, you know. Uh, an average tracks a load of logs is around 3,400 feet around here. I don't know what they are in your area. I've got another one I want to show you. I'm going to show you a $20 saw. See this whole thing? Yeah, that's the darndest thing I ever seen too. Wait till you see the exhaust. Look at that muffler. You can't see it there, but you look right in and see that piston. Uh, it took me forever to find out what this actually was. Uh, it's a uh, Lancaster uh, IL 40s or 40 IL, or however the heck they call it. Yeah, four four horsepower saw. Uh, Apparently, Lancaster Pump and Lancaster, uh, Pennsylvania built these, and they were kind of innovative for the time. This is late 50s, uh, I believe. If somebody knows more about them, let me know. I, I, uh, I'd sure like to know. It's complete. It's intact. I've got the bar. I've got everything for this saw. Uh, uh, I poured a little gas down that muffler with a piston open, I cranked that a couple, three times, and they'll sucker fire it out, and blah, 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 blah. It won't pick gas up, so I'm putting a kit in the carburetor. I found one. I couldn't believe it. Uh, they used a West Bend go-kart engine for these racing go-karts in these saws, in the four-horse and the five-horse. And uh, I was a little bit tickled with that. They might have done it in more. I don't know. Uh, apparently, West Bend was owned by Chrysler. Because I had a hard time looking up the, the carburetor uh, uh, parts one thing or another. And uh, there was a little notation there. And I said, well, I'll be damned. So uh, this is going to be kind of a fun little project. It's bag burner. But uh, I'll play with it. Okay, we picked up a 394 Husky. Everybody knows they run pretty good. Uh, Buckin's got one. He ain't the only one. Bunch of people around here. Now, them 394 Huskies... And them steel 66s, when we had big timber, which we got a little left, but we just got awful big stuff. That's what we run. We went to the 70cc saw when timber started getting down to under 20 inch. Uh, just less damn weight to carry around. Uh, and, and and it works good. Uh, I mean, they work real good. Now, uh, I was going to tell you, uh, we talked about that back surgery a little bit. Uh, that wasn't fun getting over that. I'm going to tell you a little funny thing. It happened between me and my walker and the neighbor shepherd. Now, what happened is this was, oh, about middle or end of March last year because I had back surgery January 28th. And uh, what happened was is the neighbor's uh, shepherd normally likes me. But, you know, an animal can tell when there's something wrong with you, okay? And uh, they might react a little different to you than normal. Well, the doctor just barely gave me permission to drive again. 
and I kind of coerced him into it anyway, I believe, and I'll tell you why. Uh, my horses were getting low on hay, and I had quite a bit of hay in the pasture, and my neighbor come over, he's kind enough to put a few bales in, and, but you, you, boy, you keep me in that house two months, and yeah, I gotta go. So I ended up going to the doctor, and I said, Doc, I says, uh, am I good to drive yet? Well, I said, it's only been, she says, you not really, nah, I don't know. I said, look, I'm going to tell you something, Doc. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go haul hay for my horses. I'm just telling you that, and I use my truck. Now, is it okay to drive? And he goes, okay, all right, so fine, I'm driving. I go to town. Boy, that felt good. Normally, I hate going to town. I just hate it. And so I went to town, and I come back, and uh, I seen my neighbor. The kitchen door to his house was open, and it was about 40 mile an hour winds, and it wasn't very warm, snow blowing in one thing or another. Well, I drive a one-ton four-wheel drive, and so I pulled in. We had a foot of snow, and the snow plow had about a two-foot high berm, so I just kind of locked it in the four-wheel drive, run into it, and I, I was on a walker. So I got my little walker. I've never used one of them damn things before. Well, I, I, it's got wheels on the front and it just pegs on the rear. And I, I got where I can get around okay on this. So I get halfway to his door. I had to climb through that snow. But I went through my uh, track, you know. I walked in that where I uh, busted a hole in that drift. And with the snowplow pushed up. So I get halfway to that door. My neighbor's shepherd. It's an Australian shepherd. And like I said, normally me and him is just fine, but... Boy, he took one look at me, and he decided he was going to get a little defensive. And I was good with that. I didn't need to close that door, did I? Mm -mm, no. So this dog comes running at me, and he's just a child. I wasn't too worried till he looked me straight in the eye, and he jumped right straight at my face. And he was slobbering out of his mouth when he did it, and he was serious. So I, here I am balancing in the snow, and I picks my walker up, and I fends him off. Well, the next time he hit me, he hit my walker, I, I was fending him off again. Now, I got a pretty dang good ground fight going on by this time. So I'm laying on my back, and I'm shoving at this walker, this dog, and this dog wants me. He, he, I got him riled up. Now, he wants me to go away. I'm trespassing. I'm messing with his property and his home. And ain't nobody home, and so it's his responsibility to do this. That's the kind of dog that I want. If I can have another dog, which I can't right now, I got mules. They don't like dogs too good. They uh, they, they think they're going to hurt them, so they have to hurt the dog first. Coyotes are bad on coyotes. God, they're bad on them. So anyway, me and that dog's wrestling around on the ground. I finally, I said, well, enough's enough. And I, I managed to poke him in the eye. And he jumps back, and, and I started hollering at him one thing or another. And I started he growling, and, man, he's trying to jump. And I'm growling right back. Well, New York State, they got a law. You can't have a have your uh, uh, hitch in your receiver with your ball on it, right? Well, mine was in there. Just, oh, gee, you know, it's one of the things. I ain't taking it out every time I go to town. I haul trailer all the time. And uh, so the only way I could get up with my back in that snow was the fact that uh, I grabbed a hold of that ball with one hand and a walker, and I stood up best I could. Oh, it hurt like hell. And that dog's still after me. Well, that taillight in that truck had been acted up and it fell out once, so I just put it back in the Chevy truck, uh, 95 or something that one was at the time. Put a little stick in there. Well, with me banging around trying to fight this dog, that taillight fell out. Well, that dog hit me so hard, uh, knocked that walker straight into my chest that he tipped me over. And uh, so I just happened to my hand got in that pocket where that tail light went and I was okay I stood back up and I'm banging and shoving at this dog and I'm backing around and I get my door open I get in this truck and boy that dog's trying to take my walker away now, I just live across the way you know it's no big deal it was snowing like crazy and uh so here I am driving the neighbor's out checking his mail so this made it really interesting you know here I am driving back to my house which ain't very far at all and I got I'm dragging my walker on the road with my hand and that dog's pulling and yanking on this walker I turns up my driveway and give her the gas and got up through there and that dog quit now I'm gonna tell you something I thought about that now 
Well, would you blame that on that dog? No, not me. Uh, I'll tell you why. He knew that was his home, and I didn't belong there, and there was something wrong with me. And that's what happened with that. People, what I want you to do, send me where you're from, whatever information you want to put. I'll write it down, just like I did here. We're going to keep right on rolling with this. Hey, we got some people from Norway that I uh, haven't got any there. Uh, uh, you guys said it too, uh, Great Britain. Uh, wherever you're from, just just shoot me a message. If you guys got a story you want to tell me, and I'd love to hear it because I kind of like that kind of stuff, you know. It's kind of cool to put... You know, it was one thing to make a comment of, oh, hey, this is a great video, blah, blah, blah. And I love that. I, I, I didn't think I liked the attention. I think I do. But uh, I'll be honest with you. And, and I like all you guys. And, and I really appreciate uh, what type of people are here a lot, okay? Well, if I'm going to get this video uploaded, it's going to take a while. Our Saturn, Saturn, oh, yeah, our satellite internet sucks. Sometimes it'll go fast. Sometimes it don't. But we're going to put it up. We've got more saw bills. Uh, Daryl Van Hammerslayer, we're still waiting on that throttle linkage for your Mac 1010. I can't wait to fire it. I'm going to let all you guys see that. Uh, you're going to like it. Uh, and uh, I'll dial that in. We're going to get it in the wood. And I'll probably put that on a video, too. I got a few more that I did that, uh, that I want to get on video. So uh, let's go from there. Stay safe, people. And I'm glad you're here. Thank you.